Fala, a de abaixo, abaixo da mulher, o bando é muito candente, salou. É só tudo escuro, face to face. Bang a barra, break o bando, se entrei longa, é barra blaga. Na, mas só porque a gente vai atrás lá, mas só porque o coco. O mula barra, mas quando vai ter que ir Só por pajodinha, só por qualquer modo o cabo, ele tem que abrir tudo. Não abra, não abra o piscis, não abra o piscis, não abra o coco. Não, não tem. Vai doer, se é mais ele morre. Eu não dei. Que bola para jogar, para jogar de um lado e um outro. Greetings, dear friends. Greetings, lovers of freedom. The video you just watched now, I believe you, you watched the video, right? This happened in Anambra State, Uli precisely. And the, the houses you see that was burned down by the Nigerian military. Have you asked yourself why the news is not trending in any social media platform? This happened, uh, I think, uh, two days back, two days ago. More than 50 people, more than 50 Igbo youth were slaughtered. Guess what? These are the same Igbo youth who went for PVC. They have registered for the PVC and collected it. Now they sent military to kill, kill them. They slaughtered them in their houses and burned their houses down. Guess what? No newspaper carried it. No the comedians who are advertising for, for PVC carry all this news. No celebrity posted it, nor talk about it. These are our people. When we tell you that your PVC cannot save you, many of you say, Man, you come back home if we tell you what we are passing through. We know you are passing through hell. That is why we ask you to request for your freedom. Now, Lord Zeus 101, I know you are doing a great job by helping, but when you, the energy you use to campaign for PVC, why can't you use it to tell the world? that your fellow Anambarians have been slaughtered by the same military, the same Nigeria you are. Yam Baba Comedy, the same way you campaign for PVC, your people are being slaughtered. None of you are talking about it. Uncle SP, Onyo Bodo, you are your people, you are from Anambra, your people are slaughtered. None of you are posting or talking about it. Mamonyo Bodo, you are trying. Why I am calling all of you is because all of you campaign for PVC. Now, the same you to you people campaign for PVC. The military are slaughtering them, killing them. 
none of you can now talk about it to save the lives of Anambarians and the Igbo entirely. They are not an IPOB member. Executive, where are you? Why are you people not posting this video? Why are you people not talking about... If you want to see the pictures and the, the video I am talking, go to Mazi Achebe Paul on Twitter because you cannot post all those things on YouTube here. Go to the Mazi Achebe Paul on Twitter. You will see the videos. You will see our able-bodied youth lying on their pool of their blood. What is their... Uh, what is their, 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 their crime? Just they are Igbo. Just they are youth. They are the leaders of tomorrow. Now, all of you who are busy campaigning for PVC, none of you is reporting the activities of the military in Biafra land. When we will start telling you people no election now, all of you will come and tell us, no, you have to vote your, 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 your POS or whatever it's called. Now, have you asked yourself, why is this killings that is happening in Anambra State, why is not trending? The reason is that they have projected and programmed your mindset to focus on PVC. Why the people, why the Boko Haram, the repentant Boko Haram that was recruited into the military, they are now carrying out the mission of the mission and the, the uh, agenda of the Fulani Caliphate by reducing your population because all your mind are now focusing on PVC. All your mind are focusing on PVC. They are reducing your population. Those people they slaughtered now, they will take their PVC and, and vote for, for, for the North. Because you cannot calculate. The earlier we realize that the only, only solution now is total disintegration of Nigeria, it's better for us. The earlier we realize that the solution we have now is to divide Nigeria. Don't be deceived. Don't deceive yourself. I, 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 I challenge any person who say that uh, Mr. Pitobi can fix Nigeria. I challenge you to an open debate. Call me. My phone number is plus 39351295752. Call me and you will tell me how can P2B build economy where there is no unity, where there is insecurity, where there is no 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 where where there is no love how can you build economy when there is no peace how can you build economy where boko haram is killing every day how can you build economy where bandit is on rampage how can you build economy where killing and kidnapping is on rampage how can you convert consumption into production when the two when the three regions don't agree on themselves you an Igbo, sorry an Igbo man cannot go to the north and preach about Christianity freely without being killed with the name of blasphemy. Tell me how can you solve that? The only thing the, you people should be talking about now should be a call for referendum, not a call for election because referendum will determine if the people, if the other region are in one, in one, uh, they, they, they are in uh, of the same mission with you. Are they in, in, in for betterment of Nigeria or they are in for the Islamization of Nigeria? These are the questions you need to ask yourself. When we say it, you will say, oh, Mazi, come back home. If we tell you what we are passing through, we know you people are passing through hell. That is why we are calling on you people to rise up and do the needful. You are the only person who will save you. These are the reason why the the, the rich are getting richer why the poor are getting poorer because the poor are afraid to confront the rich the rich and tell the rich no enough is enough let us have our own share of this national cake no bone of even no nobody, nobody can build nigeria because the 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 problem of nigeria is there is no love no unity Igbo man can never see a Fulani man as his brother. No matter how you paint it, no matter how you go about it, we can never see ourselves as a brothers and sisters. The hatred is there from day one because we are not of the same person. Nigeria was amalgamated forcefully. That is forceful marriage. Any marriage that is not uh, agreed together by the two parties can never hold. Always full of crisis. That is why you see Nigeria full of crisis. Look at our people dying every day. Our property is being burned down by the so-called uh, security agent. 
every day you hear that hundreds and thousands of Boko Haram have been repent, have uh, uh, repented and they have uh, recruited into the military. Where do you think they are sending them to? They are now sending them to go and fight Boko Haram. They are sending them to the east, and these are the result of it because our people are so, so they are being carried away. The earlier we stop living in delusion and face reality, is better for us. We have to face the reality. The reality is that nothing can move Nigeria forward. Nigeria is, is a scam. That is why Mazin Namdekanu, the Ohamadike, Ikukwana Afwanya, said, and I quote, anyone believing in one Nigeria is lower than animal. I am telling you nothing but the truth. Watch the video. This is happening in Anambra, and nobody is talking about it. More than 50 innocent youth were gone down at Uli, Anambra State. There is no any statement from the royal king there is no any statement from the pg of the village there is no statement from the local government chairman there is no statement from the the senator representing the constituency there is no statement from the house of rep representing the constituency there is no statement from the anambra state governor because this is a coordinated well coordinated uh, a genocide carried out by the nigerian military i will drop it here because i am very angry because our people have not woken up to face the reality. They not have woken up to face the reality. And that is why you see them recruiting Boko Haram into the military to come and kill you so on challenge. Because they know if they come as full and hence men in our forest, our Eastern Security Network, ESN, will confront them. That is why they wear them the uniform for them to come freely and they will be protected with the military uniform so that you will not suspect what is going on. The truth remains that they have surrendered our land. This is the same military people that burned this house. They are the same military people that we turn to Boko Haram to, tomorrow. Ask yourself, how many Igbos are still in the military? They have killed 90% of them. The only few re remain. And those few hate Igbo people. Let me drop it here. For you to watch the videos of those who they killed at Uli, Anambra State, go to Maazai Achebe Paul on Twitter. I posted it here. Because of Facebook and the YouTube uh, community standard, I cannot post the videos because they will ban me and they might take my page down. If you watch, the page is under serious attack by all manner of people. But we must continue as Umuchineke, almost here Biafra. Support Mazin Namdekanu, support the leadership of IPOB, support ESN for the bright and the, the uh, for for the bright of your future children. Secure the future of your children. It's now or never. Say no to election. Almost here, Biafra. Thank you and remain blessed. Once again, this is MAP. It's Yoko Bundo. One in Biafra land. Remain blessed until I come your way again.